for circus animal strike. That's the last time you'll perform with the elephants, yelled the ringmaster at Toby. You're far too clumsy. You ruined everything. Last night you tripped over your own feet, and tonight, well, just look what you did tonight. You nearly knocked me over. You weren't even looking where you were going. Toby sighed. He loved going into the circus ring with the other elephants. They looked so smart in their red feathers. And as the music played, they circled the ring and danced in time. Toby danced too, but usually he was so excited, he either forgot what he was supposed to be doing, or he just seemed to get in the way. And now he would never go into the circus ring again. Hello there said Charlie the chimp. Come on, cheer up. What's the problem? Toby told him what had happened. You're not allowed to perform again. We can't have that. Wait till the other animals hear about this. And he dashed off to spread the big news. Soon the lions and the horses and the chimps and the elephants were all roaring and neighing and trumpeting and chattering. It's just not fair said Hector, the performing horse. He's only a baby elephant, said Lawrence, the lion. He can't help it. Listen, everybody, called out Hannibal, the leader of the elephants. I have an idea. All the circus animals put their heads together and listened while Hannibal explained his plan. That's a great idea, said Charlie. We can start tonight. That night, as usual, the big top filled with people all eager to see the circus. Behind the scenes, everybody was getting ready. The clowns were painting their faces, the ringmaster was polishing his top hat, and the elephants were having their bright red feathers put on their heads. Only Toby stood sadly on his own, watching. He would not be wearing his bright red feathers tonight. The fanfare sounded. Ladies and gentlemen, shouted the ringmaster. The circus had begun. The music played for the horses. They pranced into the ring, swishing their tails and tossing their manes. But then instead of galloping round, they all suddenly stopped. The music played on. The ringmaster cracked his whip, but still they would not perform. What on earth is wrong with you tonight? whispered the ringmaster. Why aren't you dancing? The horses did not reply. Instead, they simply turned around and trotted out of the ring. The ringmaster took off his top hat and scratched his head. Bring on the lions! he shouted. But the lions would not even come out of their cages. Bring on the chimps! ordered the furious ringmaster but they would not appear either. Bring on the elephants, yelled the ringmaster, now blushing with embarrassment. Toby watched as Hannibal led the elephants slowly into the ring, and the animals formed a great circle round the ringmaster. Hannibal held up his trunk for silence. The music stopped. The audience was hushed. The circus animals are on strike announced Hannibal, until Toby, the baby elephant, is allowed to perform with us again. He's only a baby, so it's not surprising he's clumsy and makes mistakes, but he's still part of the circus, so until he's allowed into the ring again, we are not working. Then, trumpeting loudly, Hannibal led the elephants out of the big top. Let Toby come on, shouted someone in the audience. Yes, let's see the baby elephant, shouted another. Toby! Soon everyone was shouting for Toby. The ringmaster held up his hands. Very well, he said. Toby can take part in the circus. Bring on Toby, the baby elephant. 
behind the scenes, Clarence the Clown quickly fitted bright red feathers onto Toby's head. Come on, he said, leading the happy little elephant by the trunk. You're on. Toby was so very thrilled and excited that when he ran into the ring, his feet got in the way and he tripped up Clarence. The crowd roared with laughter. <laughs> Soon, he and the clown were chasing each other around the ring. The audience loved it. It did not matter that Toby was clumsy and tripped over his own feet. The crowd just laughed all the more. And a broad smile came across the ringmaster's face, too. It was not long before Toby was the star of the circus, with his name on all the posters. And all because the circus animals went on strike.